Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tony and this is TC's Outdoors. Today we're going to do something a little different on the channel. Uh, I've got to do some work on the boiler, uh, my Central Boiler Classic Edge 350. So I've been in contact with the dealer for the last month or so. I've had some issues with it going out uh, kind of randomly. So uh, I think we've got the solution, so I'm going to take you over there, get you set up, and uh, we'll go from there. Right, so for the last month or so, uh, I've been having trouble with the fire kind of going out, but it's smothering itself. It's not getting any air. So originally, I thought that this is the primary air tube here, and I thought it was uh, sticking with creosote buildup in the top here. So I took it apart and I cleaned it, and it seemed better for a week or so, and then I ended up having to take it apart again because it started acting up again, and uh, that was a week ago. And this morning, I just after I got to work, my wife called me and told me that the boiler had gone out. So she turned the power off, turned the power back on, and then it came back up and it was uh, running like it was supposed to, came up to temperature. So the dealer thinks that there's something wrong with the stepper motor here. So we're gonna change it. Um, I got the new one on the bench, so I'll pull this all off. We'll go in the house and I'll, I'll uh, show you what we gotta do. To get that whole air tube off, there's just a, a hose clamp on the back here. So just loosen that up, and then just this plug, we'll f slide the plug off, we'll slide this whole thing away, and we'll go in the house and clean it up, swap it over, and we'll be back. Alright, so we got it back here on the bench, and um, I'm going to take this bracket off. And then I can pop these springs off. I'll be able to pull this plate away, and then I'll show you there's a cotter pin underneath. Take the cotter pin out, take this top plate of the damper off, and then we'll take the screws out, swap the, the uh, stepper motor off, and reinstall everything. I'm going to take the opportunity to clean up whatever creosote's in there while I've got it apart. But uh, So it's just uh, it's two 7 16 nuts on the back here. And the carriage bolts in the front. Just loosen them up. For now, so then I can just pop those springs off so it's a little easier and not to fight with it. So, on the bottom there, see that or not, there's just that cotter pin, so I just need to straighten that out so that I can. See, it's not, it's not very dirty at all. Um, I just had it apart a week ago and cleaned it all up, got all the creosote off, and like I said, I thought that was the ticket. I thought I'd be good, but uh, as it turns out, so this thing started growling real bad. Every, I've got mine set to every 18 minutes, it uh, does an idle air pulse, but the secondary they do their thing, they flutter to make sure they're free, and you can hear the stepper motors, and this one is like distinctively deeper, and it's got a pretty nasty growl to it. So I'm assuming maybe there's a bad bearing in there or something. Uh, I gotta grab a screwdriver. I'll get the front of that off. here in the front. I'm 
my boiler is just a little over a year old. Um, the dealer was going to reach out to Central Boiler because I'm just outside the one year warranty. But he's going to reach out to the Central Boiler and hopefully they'll warranty this. It wasn't much money. It was only $60 for that little motor. But I mean, got to have it. So, oops. Got the, the new one. Just kind of reverse the process. Slide that in there. There's no Loctite or anything on these, so just uh, little guys. Get that screw started. This will be my first attempt at any kind of how-to type video, so hopefully the, the quality is okay, the camera angle and everything. looked all over YouTube for any kind of information on this and there wasn't any so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to kind of throw my experience out there for anybody that's having the same issues As it would uh, run normal for two or three days and then for whatever reason this, this morning I went out there loaded it before I went to work and I had a good three or four inch coal bed and a couple of pieces of wood left from the night before filled it up it was just about to run, so as it started up, before I came in the house, I had temperatures of like 1,200 degrees, and three hours later is when my wife called me and told me that it was out. She was out walking the dogs before she went to work and noticed that the boiler was out. So, that's what, and it's getting cold. We got pretty cold temperatures. The wind's blowing, and I really am not looking to have all kinds of trouble. So, slide that link back through there. That's upside down. Like that. Put the pin back through. to the orientation of the plug. I wonder if that's important. Looks like I got it upside down. So I'm going to run out and look at the other one to see which way the cord goes. Alright, so I get to take that off because the other one has the cord on the top and the smoke, I guess ring so to speak, shows that it was on the top here also, so I gotta pull that back apart. Anything worth doing is worth doing twice. No big deal. I'm not sure if that's important, but I want to put it back exactly the way it was, so.
good and snugged up. And we'll put this back on. Take that and I'm gonna take the opportunity to clean that out. It's got some some crease out in the bottom there, so Shear my wood, I when I cut and split it, see that big ball of gum there. Um, when I cut and split my wood, I stacked it up on my boiler pad, and it was I, I didn't give it enough room for airflow. So the center, it was six rows deep all the way across, and the first two rows on the outside were great. And once I got into the middle, it was really wet again, so I started getting a lot of creosote build up inside the boiler next year I won't have hopefully I don't want to say I won't have anything but hopefully I won't have as much trouble because I will have all of that wood that you guys saw me cut and split it's all ready to go for next year so there we go everything's not too bad maybe I'll hit it with a little a little goo gone to take off that a little bit of creosote that's on there Clean it up while I've got it apart. So I'm just about through the center section of my wood that's on the, the pad up by the boiler. So hopefully I'm through the wettest stuff. I'm also into the as it worked out when I stacked it up there last year, I buried any wood that I had left over from last year. So I should be getting into that and also some bigger chunks of ash that, that I had left. And hopefully that'll take care of any of my creosote issues that I got going on. But it's actually been quite a bit better the last couple of weeks. so I figured it was worth a shot and it does a pretty good job of getting the creosote off of here with a minimal amount of effort Okay, 
Hylock nuts and they're squeezing down on this rubber. I don't, I don't really think you have to go very tight the, just to compress it a little bit. Snug them up, be good to go. Oops. Maybe. There we go. All right. I'm just slip these springs back over the. Okay, it's all back together. Um, we'll get situated and we'll go back outside and get it put back on. Alright all right, guys, we're back out here. Um, I'll basically just slide it back on there, I'll get it level, tighten up my hose clamp and plug it in and we'll turn it back on and see how I did. All right, guys, I got it all back in. Uh, I just put it in test mode. I'm going to open the primary up, and then I'll open the secondary up. You guys can see how they open up. And I'm not going to be able to really report back on how well this worked or if it fixed my problem. It'll be a couple of days, I imagine. So um, one of my next videos, I'll update you guys on how the boiler's performing, and hopefully we're, we're all set. So I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. If you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends if you could, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. There's the primary. There's the secondary.